This is a new measure of safety that has been added to football gear in Fayetteville schools. KWA's Kelly O'Neill is in Fayetteville with details on how a protective shell could prevent concussions. Well, he got tackled and went down backwards and his head slammed onto the turf. Kelly Stuckey's son, Bo, is a junior wide receiver and safety on Fayetteville High School's football team. She said he's never had a concussion, but it's always a topic of conversation in her home. We love football, but it's mixed emotions because it's a dangerous sport. And, you know, as a parent, your stomach hurts every game. You're excited, but you're also worried. A CDC study examining the sport for over a year shows 15% of high schoolers suffered at least one concussion. FHS high school football coach Billy Dawson says he's using a protective shell add-on to new or existing helmets to protect players. I saw them at a convention. I watched the Penn State study, uh, the three-year study in which they had really high regards. The reduce of concussions was almost 50% in some categories, 75% in others. This is what the shell looks like on the helmet. You can see it goes right over a normal helmet to provide that extra layer of protection. We have 25 of them at our high school, 22 at Woodland and 22 at Ramey. Just kind of on an on a opportunity to see what they do for us and see if they'll protect our kids. The shell produced by Defend Your Head utilizes specialized material to reduce the risk of injury due to blood force trauma. It adds 15 ounces of weight to the helmets, but from the stands you can't tell the difference. I think you're going to see it become more and more popular with more and more schools as word gets out as you know, we're trying to protect kids from concussions and you know, kids will play better when they feel safer. In Fayetteville, Kelly O'Neill, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. All right, Kelly, thanks for that story.